All right, what's up guys? Virtual workout number 16. For today, we're gonna go ahead and need one plate. I want you guys to choose your heavier plate of your two, and we need a dumbbell. If you have two dumbbells, I want you to also choose that heavier dumbbell of the two. Now, for our quality work here to get started, we're gonna go three sets of 10 on the front rack, reverse lunges. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take that dumbbell, we're gonna move into that front rack position, so I want you to grab both heads of that dumbbell, drive those elbows up, high and wide. From there, you're gonna go ahead, step your foot back into that lunge position. Remember, in that lunge position, we want that 90 degree angle on our front leg, back leg, and at our torso. So you wanna stay nice and upright with that chest. In one solid motion, you're gonna go ahead and return to that starting position. Now, as far as the front view goes, our feet should be about shoulder width apart as we go ahead and descend into that lunge. So, we're gonna go ahead and knock out three sets of 10 there. After that, we're gonna go ahead and go into hip extensions. We're gonna go four sets of 15 here. So this is also known as a glute bridge. So I want you guys to go ahead and lay flat on the floor here. Put your feet down, hands out at the side, and go ahead and stabilize. From here, you're gonna drive those hips up, squeezing those glutes at the top. Remember, you should feel this in those glutes, not in those hamstrings. Yes, those hamstrings are doing a little bit of the work, but the primary mover should be those glutes. So if you're not feeling those glutes, go ahead and tap them as you're doing, making that movement. That way we can go ahead and make sure those muscles are getting connected to that mind. That way we're getting those muscles activated, firing, and making those the primary mover. After that, we're gonna go plate bent over row. So again, I want you to grab your heavier plate from here. You're gonna go ahead and hinge at those hips. So I want to soft bend at those knees, hinging at those hips, keeping that back nice and straight. You're gonna retract those shoulder blades as you pull that plate to your chest, okay? So again, retracting shoulder blades, pulling that plate to your chest, give me a little pause at the top before descending down. We're gonna do five sets of 20 there. So again, this is our quality work. This is what we wanna focus on. Now, as far as our video critique here today, what I would like to see you guys do is send us a video from the front and the side of you doing that plate bent over row. So that way we can critique that form, see if there's anything we need to work with to make that a little bit better and more efficient. Now, after that, we actually have the support your local box um, CrossFit workout, okay? So this is the same workout that if you signed up for the support your local box, and again, it's free to sign up for, so I would suggest doing it, this is that same workout. So this is a 10 minute AMRAP, as many rounds or reps as possible in 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and go 10 air squats. So we want our feet shoulder width, toes pointed out slightly. You're gonna commute, hinge at those hips first, drive those knees wide as you get that hip crease below those knees coming all the way up into that full extension at the top. So again, feet shoulder width, toes point out slightly. Hips go back first, knees go wide. Chest trying to stay nice and upright. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 air squats. Next up, we have nine dumbbell snatches with your right arm. So you're gonna straddle that dumbbell, hinging at those hips, soft bending those knees, hinging at those hips, grabbing that dumbbell off hand, not touching your leg. You're gonna drive that dumbbell up in one fluid motion. You're not gonna switch hands, you're gonna come down, touch both heads of the dumbbell to the ground before driving that dumbbell back up. So again, as we drive that dumbbell up, it's shrugging the shoulder, pull that elbow high, quick turnover, all right? Now again, I want you to use your heavier, your two dumbbells there. So I want you to really focus on that dip so we can go ahead and get that quality movement. So that way we can get a lot of reps in here. After that, we're gonna go into 10 push-ups. So just outside your shoulder width here with that hand, you're gonna go ahead and press that ground away from you on your toes or knees. You're gonna go ahead and descend down, chest and thigh to the ground, and then extend up. Remember, we can scale this down by putting our feet, or excuse me, our knees down on the ground and doing the same thing. After we've done those 10 push-ups, we're gonna go nine dumbbell snatches, this time with our left arm. So same thing, hinging at those hips, off hand not touching your body, driving through those hips, shrugging that shoulder, pulling that elbow high, turning under uh, that dumbbell. Again, touching both heads to the ground, driving that dumbbell up in one fluid motion. Once you've gone through one round, you're starting back up at the top. So let's be really efficient in this one. This should be 10 minutes of go. You should really not take any rest breaks on this one. We wanna to try to shoot through this unbroken, okay? And we wanna to try to continue moving. So a way that you can make this as efficient as possible with your dumbbell, you can go ahead and do your air squats right over that dumbbell. So that way, once you've done 10, you can grab that dumbbell, move right into those snatches. From there, for those push-ups, just move to the side, do your push-ups, step back over, get into those left-handed dumbbell snatches. Now, once you finish those left-handed dumbbell snatches, you're 
you're right, ready to go into those air squats again. So transition should be next to nothing. This should be a red line workout. You guys should be moving as fast as possible here. Let's have some fun with this. Let's get those scores posted. That way we can help those teams out as well. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.